Hello, good morning. This is your daily outlook for Thursday, the 17th of April. The euro rebounded from its low of 137.89 up to 138.50 against the US dollar. The euro erased part of its losses as Fed Chairwoman Janet Yellen stated yesterday that the Fed is committed to supporting the US economy. The British pound skyrocketed almost 120 pips and climbed up to a four-year high at 168.36 against the US dollar. The sterling made a rally yesterday after the UK unemployment rate fell 6.9%, far below the expectations of 7.2%. Looking at equities, the European stocks rallied as companies reported their financial results and the EU stocks 50 rose from yesterday's low of 3.009 all the way up to 3.091. Looking at commodities, natural gas swings between gains and losses and is now trading at around 4550 US dollars per mm MMBTU. The energy is under pressure as the Energy Information Administration will release its weekly natural gas storage report at 14.30 GMT and forecasts show 35 billion held in underground storage during the last week. And I'm mover and shaker today. The US dollar increased sharply from 109.58 all the way up to 110.32 against the Canadian dollar. The loonie depreciated after the Bank of Canada press conference, which was dovish and signalled slow growth on exports. The monthly Canadian CPI due at 12.30 GNT. I'm not sure traders may consider constructing a ball call spread on the dollar CAD as the pair may continue its upside. A ball call spread can be constructed by birching an at-the-money call and selling an out-of-the-money call. And watch out at 12.30 GMT in Canada for the core CPI month on month expected to drop by 0.3%. At 1400 GMT in the US, we have the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index expected at 9.6%. And at 1430 GMT in the US, we have the natural gas storage expected at 35 billion. Thank you for tuning in to our daily outlook. We look forward to seeing you again next week. I'm Emma Andre from the East Forest Dealing Room. Have a great day.